Stop wasting your time in the gym and spend time in the contracted position. All right, guys, here we are. We're in my basement and I just trained chest and shoulders today. And I look over and right where the pec deck is of this gym that I go to, there's this ab area. And I look over and there is a group of like seven or eight people just crushing abs, but not in a good way. And it's a mixture of mistakes, but the number one thing I saw is people doing crunches, but spending zero time in the contracted position. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get down on the ground and I'm just gonna show you what I'm talking about and show you how to fix it. Because if you're in the gym doing an exercise, I wanna get the most bang for that buck. Meaning if I wanna do 20 reps of crunches, I want all 20 of those to count. And sadly, so many are just flying through the reps not spending time in the contracted position and not getting the full benefit of the exercise. And honestly, with such of a short range of motion, meaning an abdominal crunch, if you aren't spending time in the contracted position, the exercise is pretty much useless. So let me get in the ground and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so if you look here, me in position for abdominal crunch. Now for me, all day long, I'm gonna raise my heels up and get them off the ground and cross them. Now, with this exercise in the floor or on a mat, whatever you wanna say, I get no stretch because if I'm going to stretch, I'd have to get here of lengthening. I'd have to put a pad under my lower back and I don't, and most people aren't going to use one of those. So I'm getting no lengthening of sternum to belly button. I'm just getting a neutral position of start with the abdominal crunch. We must spend time in the contracted position because we're not working the stretch here at all. So again, feet up. Now, let me show you what I saw. It was this just here, here, here. A lot of neck throw and zero time contracted. So if I'm gonna do these, let me show you what I would do. My fingertips are gonna be on my abs to feel them work. Here, one, two. Now, not only am I shortening belly button to sternum, I'm also simultaneously driving my shoulders off the ground and my knees towards my chest. So here, one, two. Here, one, two. One, two. Now, I know what you'll say. Chris, they're getting three reps to your one you're right but those reps are garbage they don't count in my book they're if you remember we have to stimulate muscle tissue not just a to b a to b a to b right and it doesn't matter what we're doing it could be a leg press could be a bicep curl if you're flying through reps the muscle isn't getting stimulated enough you have to spend time specifically with this crunch in the fully shortened fully contracted and make those muscles feel like they're gonna cramp. If you want your abs to get developed and when all the body fat's gonna be able to see them sticking through the skin, I can promise you those jerky, crazy, like what I always call like the rabbit reps, where it's like over and over fast you can, boom, 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 like just hammering it, isn't working that muscle nearly as well as with the reps I showed you with the execution like I just did where I'm spending a two count in every contraction. I'm controlling the negative down, forcefully using my abs to contract and squeeze while I'm driving my knees towards my chest to get lower abdominals worked. That's how you do it, guys. So if you're gonna be in the gym training abs, which I always think is a silly, useless waste of time because I can do this in my house. When I'm in the gym, I'm gonna be there to build muscle tissue. My abs come after cardio. So I guess if you go to the gym to do cardio in the mornings, by all means, hammer your abs while you're there. But to me, if you're gonna spend that much time on them, at least do them right. Because if I'm in the gym wasting time, I might as well be home watching Netflix, chilling and resting and recovering. So again, make your time count. A lot of you guys out there are busy and have real jobs. If you only have an hour per day, make every single one of those reps count. If you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, Christmas TV.